Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right folks, so for this video I'm going to be taking is around my latest 4K pickup that I got for The Great Escape. Now this is a German release brought to us by Cape Light Pictures. And I actually did own the uh, Kino Lauber or Larber, Lauber, whatever the name of the company is. I actually had their release of it. And I remember getting this through the door and... I was so unbelievably upset when I found out that there was no um, HDR or Dolby Vision uh, part of this release. And I don't care what anyone says, and I'm going to say this till I'm blue in the face. If you do not have HDR or Dolby Vision when it comes to 4K, then you have nothing. You're, you're going into Blu-ray territory. That's, 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 that's the way I've always seen it. So whenever I see a release without any HDR or Dolby Vision, I'm always disappointed. But I'm happy to say that this release does have Dolby Vision, not just not only does it have Dolby Vision, it has HDR 10, it's also got HDR 10 plus, so it is all well covered, uh, anyone that has the means of using HDR 10 plus, yes, you're going to be absolutely ecstatic to hear that this is actually, that is on this release, and um, it does make a difference, it really does, but I'll get more into that now very, very soon. But for the movie itself, look, it's a beloved classic. I can't stress to you how much I love it. As a matter of fact, and I know this might sound a little strange, but it's it's almost like a it's almost over here in Ireland. It's 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 almost treated like a Christmas movie. You know, you can't go go by a Christmas and not see The Great Escape playing on the TV. It's just one of those things. And over here in my house, it's become a very popular movie to watch in November. It kind of just sets us up beautifully for the month of um, December. But uh, it's a wonderful movie. It has an all-star cast. My God, it does not get any bigger than this. You've got the likes of Richard Attenborough in there, Donald Pleasance, Charles Bronson, James Gardner, of course, the king of cool, Steve McQueen. And he is, he is a revelation in this movie. He is absolutely incredible. And I can only imagine what it must have been like for, I think it's Jim Sturgis who directed this movie. I can only imagine what it must have been like for him back in the day being able to shoot all them scenes with Steve McQueen on that motorbike, not having to hide his face. You can clearly see that he's doing the bulk uh, of the motorcycle riding in this movie. Now, there is a handful of scenes where you can clearly tell that it's not him. But like I said, for the most part, it is Steve McQueen because we all know he loves his motorbikes. And uh, yeah, he's absolutely fantastic in this movie. It is incredibly funny as well. There is so much humour to it. And it's a good thing, it really, really is, because it does add weight to those more dramatic scenes that you're going to see in it. Trust me, folks, if you have never checked out The Great Escape, you are missing out. It is an absolute masterpiece, and uh, I can't recommend it enough. Now, in terms of special features, now, I can't read German, but it looks like it's the same special features that you see on the Kino Lobo release. And trust me when I say there is quite a bit there. I'm almost certain there's around seven featurettes. There's a documentary in there as well. There is also an audio commentary. So uh, fans of the movie is, are going to be absolutely ecstatic when it comes to its special features. Right, folks, so I'm going to take us around this media book. I'm going to give you a close look at it. And then I'm going to come back and review the 4K picture. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Right, so here we go, The Great Escape media book, and I'm going to quickly bring in this uh, J card that was wrapped around it just to give you a close look at it. But as you can see right in the middle there, that is your extras, and there is quite a bit there to be seen. And then right at the bottom is your, you know, your credits and your technical aspects if you do want to pause them and check them out. So that is the J card. Let's get on with the media book. So as you can see, uh, it is the original artwork which we all know and love, and... Uh, the texture on this media book, again, I don't, I'm not sure how well my camera is going to pick it up, but trust me when I say there is a beautiful bit of texture into it. Now, uh, the artwork is quite simple. As you can see there, you got Steve McQueen, you got Richard Attenborough there as well, James Gardner on the cover, and as you can see, they're kind of just running. And uh, yeah, I was always a fan of this original artwork, and uh, I'm so happy that they, they, st they stuck with it on the media book. It would have been a shame if they tried something a bit different. So uh, that is uh, the main artwork. This is the spine of it. Of course, it goes without saying, but the actual title is in German. Now, I know that's going to bother a lot of people, but I honestly don't care. And this is why I don't. Because when you turn around to the back, you got this incredible shot of Steve McQueen on the bike. You see him jumping the fence. And of course, the title is in English. So you're well covered. If you wanted to kind of display it, 
You can display it whatever way you want. And I have to tell you, the artwork is absolutely fantastic on the back of this. Uh, it was a pleasant surprise. So that is uh, the media book itself. So I'm going to quickly open it up. So the first thing you will notice there is your 4K disc. Uh, I don't have to take the disc out because what's on the picture, the picture that's on the disc is what's behind it as well. And then on the other side, that is your Blu-ray disc. And it is your Blu-ray that holds all the special features. So uh, again, it goes without saying, this being a German media book release, everything will be in German. But I suppose we can appreciate some of the stills from the actual movie itself. So there you have it, folks. That is the German media book of The Great Escape. Right, so on to the 4K transfer. So the only thing I'm going to concern myself with when it comes to this release is colour. Now, I checked out the Kino and this version against each other. And in terms of the grain structure, they're absolutely identical. Sharpness, clarity, everything looks the same. So it is colour that I'm fixated on here. So the big question is, does Dolby Vision make a difference when it comes to this release? And the short answer is yes, it does. Now, there's going to be times where you're going to be watching it where it's not as obvious as others. But my God, when you see them scenes when it is obvious, I think you're going to be blown away by it. You can clearly see that this the Dolby Vision has added a new element of vibrancy to this picture. And I always found a great escape. It always had this drab look to it. You know, the colours almost looked lifeless in a way. But the Dolby Vision does add new life to this. And I think you're going to be ecstatic when you do see it. Not just that, but the black levels do get a nice increase as well. They're not as dark and as inky as I would normally like to see on a release like this, but take nothing away from it. They still do look spectacular. And when you do add in that shadow detail as well, that added shadow detail, it is a sight to behold at times. Uh, and it's a clear, clear upgrade over the Kino release, particularly when you see the shadow detail. Uh, I was, yeah, I was so unbelievably surprised by it. It was one of those things, folks. I honestly thought, I, I took a gamble on it. I actually thought there was going to be no difference, but when I seen that there was an obvious difference at times, I'm gonna say 80% of the time, it's very, very obvious. Uh, I was so unbelievably surprised by it. And if you're a fan of this movie, I honestly think it's worth taking the gamble on this media book release from Cape Light. It is the only way to get this movie over here in Europe on 4K. And uh, as I said, the special features are all the same on the Kino release. And uh, yes, I was very, very happy with my investment. Now, it does have a DTS 5.1 audio on this as well. Look, there's not much to be said. It is insanely front heavy. As a matter of fact, I don't even think, I can't even remember one scene where I actually heard any activity coming out from behind me. It is a massively front heavy sounding movie. And for the most part, it sounds absolutely fine. Right, folks, so there you have it. I just wanted to put that video out there and share my thoughts. I was so curious to see if there was going to be a difference. And I'm happy to say that there is. And uh, I was quite happy with the differences. Right, so there you have it folks. So as per usual, if you like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do, leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on this movie and what did you think of the uh, 4K transfer if you've seen it yourself. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.